Hey guys, video of Fletcher, and as you can see on the little text on the screen, a sample of the free 22 maps. Now these will be maps that the vast majority will never have seen. Um, there are 22 on the forums, there are 100 more maps that people make, there are actual yeah, game modes, there's Guardian, down. people have added Torgo well, headshots into here. Gears 2, there's the Gears 3 TDM, there's ribbon systems, basically it's Gears 2 and 3, but Gears 1. Um, just with faster movement, all the things that you like, but with the new maps, and the maps are really well designed. Uh, at the end of this video, if you're interested, um, right, yeah. Yeah, I'll explain how you install them all, how you download them, and these aren't in any particular order. There are some really good maps, some of my favourite maps are towards the end of the video, so hopefully you'll stay and watch them. <coughs> all, the, all the maps, and this is why I've promoted this pack, is have something different about them, like each one, like that's what I like about Gears 1, is each map is dark, but it has its own if unique feel come. to it, like each map is completely different, there isn't, Stop it. there isn't like, Stop oh, it. like, you know, everybody has the same star map, the same oh. star colour, each has their own colour to it, Did that really just and there are some really it? unique ones, there's one where the night chases you, there's ladders, um, there's ones like this, this. now what you're going to see here huh. is, we were looking for the boom shot hill, now, where would a boom shot hill be? The arrow? Is it? Where is it? Where's the boom shot hill? And then Stott is like, "Hey, come up here," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and I mean, look at this. Like, capturing hills up here. Like, this is just something you just don't you just don't see this in Gears. The maps the maps are really good. Now you can play them without Xbox Live Gold. You don't need Xbox Live. What you do is you host a live list player match. You install them all. I'll tell yeah. you how to do it. And then you go to that the option that says host live list player match, dark. and then you go ahead and you click this is, this is, um, the map this that you want to host. So, me and Stotty will basically be playing this. My, my last video got a lot of feedback. People really enjoyed it. The developers yeah. basically yeah. said, stop spamming me with the video. Right, I'm not, I'm not We're not going to do anything about it. Spamming me with the video control. makes me actively work against it. So, <clears throat> to me, that just means... I could have, I could have been a good, a good help to their company. Oh, I could have nice. put in lots of hours of work like along with other people stuff. that are interested in gears. We could have put up hours, hours, and hours of free, free work, finding bugs, finding oh, glitches, glitches collecting, stuff, collecting, yeah. collecting I mean, feedback. You know what people want changing, but they just, they just basically shut it down and they just said, "Look, we're not having it." So I'm not going to waste my time on something like that unless more people want it and we get more threads going. Again, each one a unique feeling. Yeah. Like you see these ladders now. The ladders look Still, a bit buggy, like right well. now because but I'm off host. I don't know if you can climb. Um, but you know, you can have rooftop fights, like sniping across each other. You notice here, there's a snipe down there, and Stotty almost getting there, but he boom shots me. Now, the wonderful thing about these maps is, for one, the free. Sniper. Each one is different, and you can play them online. Me and Stotty yeah, didn't know how to play them well. online until the we finally figured it out. Wind. And look at this. Like this is what I like about Gears One. Is it's so gritty and so dark? Like there, there's going to be a clip here with me showing the krill and the sniper. Yeah, it seems pretty. Yeah, and honestly, it, going. I just want to get some eight-man player matches going. This looks like you can't you, you know, can't do a, a map the cycle because shadow. they're custom maps, so you have to host and then back out. But that'll give new people a chance to join. This so me and Stotty will be hosting shadow. these as public. Once you've installed them, it won't yeah, tell you what map they're hosting. It'll just say that I'm playing on a custom map. So if you search under live list play, not not player match, not ranked live list play, I will be there hosting, or Stotty will be there hosting, or whoever wants to host, you know, we can take turns. I just want to get some big matches going. We could have a really, really close King of the Hill game. We could record some footage, play some there. execution wars, and whatever you fancy. Um, you can even play the game in slow motion. We figured out today, thanks to a comment in the YouTube section, and we were having one v one slow motion sniper fights, which was just really funny. Um, and again, look at the, the textures. Like, I'm recording in max, but I'm not recording max 1080p. I'm not recording in 60 well, fps. I can't. When you're playing these max to 60 fps, and YouTube, YouTube kills the quality. Like, you've got to understand Floating, the quality it? that you're seeing now is nothing compared to what you'll see in your monitor. Maps, and right, right now, what you're seeing looks pretty good. Um, as you can see, the maps are floating in the air. Someone's like on some sort of oil station. They've all got a unique no, field. They've got wind, so you can hear the wind whistling as you go inside. The wind shuts off. Yeah, the um, again, I just, I just think I want people to play this, and I want to play with people. You know, Gears, Gears Three is okay. becoming a little bit dead to me. I'm trying to to help fix the game, but they're not having it. So if they're not having it, then 
I'll find my own way of having fun. I'll be playing on maps like this. Like these dark mansion-esque style maps, you know. Who who doesn't want to play Big King of the Hill game or the 4v4 execution match on this? Um, you know, we, we will be hosting them. Just drop a message to me. Uh, my account will be in my own zone. Um, exactly how it sounds, just in my own zone. Just message me and say, hey, I'd like to play the maps with you. Drop me a friend request and just say, Gears PC player. Then I know to add you. Um, it's a th it's a this one's my favourite of the the 22 maps. I think it's like a war machine. There's a you push that ramp up there, and you can get a boom shot. Right. There's also a top bill behind us, and up top is like a canal style feature where there's two snipers opposite each other. You see yeah, up you there. Go in between these aisles. Now, if we go ahead and head you upstairs, you can see you can get some snipes. Look how glowy his uh, chest armor is and everything. It just looks cool. Like the graphics in this game are better than anything I've played. Obviously, because it's on the PC, but it's it's so smooth and there's little to no lag. Like I have a terrible connection, but I can't weapon slide on most um, That's going most on maps dive. because the connections are too good. It was a blind fight. See my game tag there in the bottom left wow, in my own okay. zone. So if you want to just skip to the end um, to see how you install them, then you can do. But there are some the more awesome so looking maps coming up. You know, I'm I'm kind of waffling along here, but the, the general gist of it is, look, you can have a lot of fun with Gears PC. It's a little bit overpriced. It's wow. fift, it's fifteen pound, but you you get to play map like this for free, and not only do you get to have the fluidity of the PC, you can play with the controller. You don't have to play with Xbox Live Gold. Um, it's like an oriental tone, isn't it? You can it? play with your friends on player matches, and we're wondering what that button did. We still haven't worked that out. Maybe somebody can tell us. So each map, you know, the maps work for King of the Hill. You can weapon swap, and importantly, you don't need gold. The money that you spend £15 buying the game, you'll earn back in the hundreds of free maps, the hours of fun you can have. Now, I'll admit the game, the game isn't very played at the moment, yeah. we're trying to bring it back, me and Scotty have started playing it, I've got three or four other people, so we can get in a full lobby when we go on, we can make a full lobby, so if you want to join us on those full lobbies, for maps like this, I mean it's not a finished map, but even the unfinished the maps look cool, like, it's just, solid 66 <laughs> and then it goes it's just a real cool game, fire. like when have you ever seen anything like this in Gears of War, you, you simply haven't, it's, it's completely different, and every map is new, you'll be playing on 22 maps, that's that's a whole new game to you. Like you got 15 on Gears One, I think. Stop no, sweating. maybe 10 on Gears One, 15 on Gears Two. So you basically get two do, whole mate, new games for free. Sniper, didn't think so. So the work that people have put in to make these maps are awesome. Sometimes they're a little bit buggy. Sometimes the covers don't work. <clears throat> you know, sometimes they don't host properly, or the weapons. I don't know. The hill might disappear. But you know, you can always just press rehost, and it it's takes a split second to rehost. So, you know, they're only free oh, mods. I wish I wish Epic would would acknowledge what a great game they've made on PC, because they seem to forget that they've made this. This game is never talked about. Yeah, it was literally. This is a brilliant game. You can make your own map, you have the editor. Um, you know. And they don't really talk about it, like people people actively making mods on it to this day. And it's a <clears throat> it's a fantastic little game. Um for fifteen quid, I mean you could spend that on some the next Gears 3 DLC or whatever the next bringing out, you know. <coughs> I'd definitely pick up Gears PC. It is worth it. You don't need an insane Fuck PC to run it, to be honest. I'm, I just bought a PC so I can play games because, like I say, the money the money that you spend on your PC, my PC was only 400 and it can, you know, play this in max and record. There's maps like this, um, you know, it's just a one versus one map. Like, you don't see this on Gears. Imagine a map like this on Gears 3, you probably have to pay for it. You fucking fucking so, the video's coming to an end and I'll explain how to install it. Hopefully you will. Hopefully you'll message me and hopefully we can get some games going because I, I want some people <laughs> to play with. Um, so what you want to do is once you've downloaded the file, you extract it to your local disk, Program Files 86, Microsoft Games, Gears of War, and then there is a folder called War Game. Now you go to your War Game folder and you see there it says Cooked PC. You double click that, you go to Maps, and then custom maps and you extract it into the custom map section and you're done. You then just reload up your game and when you go to host a live list match it will be there. They'll be called like MP underscore sanctuary and stuff like that. So then we can play. Hopefully we'll get some players. Hopefully we'll bring the game back.